Hello, today I want to speak about matrices um, and linear algebra. Linear algebra. The usual books which you're gonna see on linear algebra and matrices, we're gonna show you something like this. They're gonna show you tables which are gonna be full of numbers uh, like this, and they will say that this is the matrix. Matrix. But to be honest, the, the main question which people usually have, but where where do we uh, we use them in the real world? And that's the one of the big problems which those books are not really answering. And the books are usually giving a lot of explanations of formulas, uh, and they just make you confused and confused and confused. But over here, I wanted to in this ex specifically in this specific lesson, I would like to show exactly where actually matrices are. And surprisingly, to for all of us, but matrices are all around us. Matrices are matrices are all around us. Okay. Uh, but um, let's start with the typical answers to the question, where are the matrices used? They say that they're used in computer graphics, uh, graphics, computer game, video games, in engineering, in movie processing, everywhere. Surprisingly, even right now, when I'm drawing all those characters over here, what happens is that every every point, every pixel I draw on this white sheet of paper, on obviously which is screen, uh, it's actually an operation on the matrix. If you see that I'm actually, I have over here, um, I have over here uh, the. Um, uh, the white sheet and the white sheet inside of the computer is represented as the um, as the column of numbers. It's like a matrix of of pixels, which is like a uh, which looks a little bit like the um, graph paper. And every time I draw something, so for computer these are only just a sequence. For us, we see it as a as the sequence of uh, thing uh, of cells, computer sees it. If I take that, that left top circle and I uh, top left top corner and I magnify it, zoom it in a little bit, then what you will be able to see, for example, I drew over here in the corner the word matrices in blue. So I can try to copy the same thing and let's say this is uh, the letter M and this is the letter M. Um, Okay, we'll make it a bit longer, then a bit longer, and this is letter A, as you can see, I'm drawing, and then here we will have letter T. So that's how uh, we perceive that, uh, the text of the word matrix, over here, right on the top, which is over here, matrices, it's been, um, it's been in the computer, it's represented like this grid and we have of pixels. But the pixels, again, the pixels are for humans. Pixels are for humans. We understand pixels. Computer only understands numbers. So for the computer, what happens over here is just it has a sequence of numbers. And the blue is... Um, every color is represented by a number. So over here we have a number, 0, uh, zero and here will be 255. Five, three numbers, the, because the blue is 255. Five. Um, should I can make it a bit simpler? No. Let's say the blue is the color blue is the color blue. Let's say the color blue is one. It is three. The color tree, and then we have here another tree and tree and tree, and then this uh, this has tree and this has tree 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 tree, and then the letter A has here as well. And you don't forget about the empty cells, the empty cells, yeah, because the empty cells, despite you think you're not actually, we have nothing there, actually it's not completely true. What we have there in those cells is number zero, which I'm going to draw in a, in a, in a bright, uh, bright gray, so that you can actually see that this is the pattern. 
So this is the letter M. The next letter was letter A, so I'll just try to draw again the part of the grid. And again, we start with the high-level thinking. We start with thinking about pixels, just the way we are as people. And the letter A was drawn like this. Three, one, three, one. So we just start drawing this. And remember, the color blue was three. So again, color blue was three. So one, two, three, 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 three. And we could, there was a letter. And there was letter T here. And it started something. Three, 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 three. If there would have been a, and then as I said, remember, we, re, we need to remember to put the numbers here. And as we, as, and as you can see, as you can see, and here is number zero, zero, and obviously here as well, zero, 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 which is, uh, which is not completely exactly correct, because zero is, uh, is black, for our example. Okay. So, you can see that we have numbers over here, and these are the matrices. Here you have the matrices. In your book, in your book, the way you could have seen that matrix may have been like that. It's a matrix of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 elements by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 5 elements. So it's a pretty long matrix, and I can represent it as a sequence of numbers. Four, 0, it's going to be in your book like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then it goes 0, 3, 3, 3, 0. 3, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 3, 0, and then it goes 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then it goes 3, 0, 0, 0, and that's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, and that's the end of the matrix. So this is, the, this is M by N matrix, which is M rows and N columns. I think it was, so it should be uh, M rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by N columns by 8 columns. So it's an M by N matrix, 5 by 8 matrix. And and I think that in this letter, what you can realize that actually a few let letters, just a few characters, just a few pixels, they have been represented by M by N, 5 by 8 matrix, a huge matrix. And that's basically the key uh, to understanding why matrices, to understanding what, what, what are the matrices for. Matrices are for computers. Because matrices can contain, this matrix contains 40 numbers. If your screen of your computer is, let's say, 1280 pixels by 720 pixels of your computer screen or, or laptop or anything, we will have... Um, we will have, let me bring the calculator, and let's see, we have a 1 to, 1 to 80 by 720, that's 900, that's the matrix of your computer, uh, of your computer screen, which is um, 9, 9, 2, 9, 921 600. 921 600. That's, that's a matrix which is going to have 921,000. It's almost, almost 1 million. And that's what happens when you actually buy a camera and camera says it's 1 megapixel. Or actually now it's not 1 megapixel, now it's like 10 megapixels. And 10 megapixels is, means that this camera it's it's eye, the eye of the camera, the it has a matrix, sensitive matrix to light, matrix which is just like this amount of lot a lot of pixels, rows and rows and columns of pixels, and the total amount of them is ten million. And your camera is operates ten megapixels, and here on the screen I gave you example of five by eight, forty pixels. 
and uh, when you're learning matrix multiplication you're show you're shown examples on two by two matrix let's say five five three four two or uh, three by two matrix you know you are shown example 0 0.1 1 2 3 5 minus 2 you are shown examples this is 0 0.1 you're shown examples on matrices like this size but basically when when you go into the real world you operate with the matrices which are like millions and millions and um, you need to know how matrices work in order to understand how all of our world works, how the camera works, how the computer graphics works and now you understand how the symbols are pre represented on a grid on, on a screen because a screen is just a grid, just a big matrix and then we have a few operations they say for the for the matrices like matrix addition addition so in matrix addition, in case we have two matrices, again I can represent them like this with the with the numbers one, two, three, five, seven, one, minus two, minus five, minus four. And then I have a, another matrix. I have a matrix, you know, I know three, uh, minus two, five, seven, twelve, eleven, twelve, two, zero. And imagine I want to summarize that matrix. And basically, as it's shown in the le in the in the lessons, uh, you just take corresponding elements and you sum them up. You take one plus three and you sum them up. Then you take two, or I take a different color. Then you take two and you sum it up with this two. So it kind of goes the just the one goes on top of the other. It kind of goes like this one kind of goes on top of this one, and then we will have one plus three is um, four. Or actually, I'll take this color the colors. 1 plus 3 is 4, uh, 2 plus minus 2 is 0, let's take, uh, let's take this one, maybe let's start purple, 3 and 5, 3 and 5 is 8, and so on, and the other numbers. I won't be calculating them, but the, the other numbers just go match. So the whole operation of summarization of matrices seems to be pretty easy. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just like you you just take corresponding terms and sum them up. But the question is, what the hell is gonna happen to those matrices? What what does it what's the real real meaning uh, of, um, of 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 summing um, two matrices? Because we know if we have two numbers, if we have a number, let's say we have a number uh, just regular numbers. Let's say we have number two and plus number three. So what we know, maybe somebody had the two apples, and somebody had another three apples. Okay, I'll draw them as a circles to be faster. And when you sum up all of them together, it means it means um, Amy and Bobby they have all together five apples. So the summarization of abstract concept numbers, this is the just the numbers, you know, if you're a mathematician, you just think 2 plus 3, you don't think, you don't know what it is. But this has a meaning in a natural world, we can, we know what it means, 2 plus 3. Or even if there is a speed, if there is a car, okay, this is not the best drawing of the car, but as good as I can, and the car goes at the speed of 5 miles per hour and then you just say the car has increased its speed extra three, three miles per hour so altogether when I say f uh, okay, two, two miles per hour so I, uh, when I say two miles per hour uh, two plus three two plus three and I say two miles per hour plus three miles per hour is five miles per hour which means that the total speed of the car is now five total speed so again just the abstract numbers they start getting the uh, the abstract numbers are getting the meaning in the real world and this is why for us the meaning and this is this is why it's so easy for us to understand what a number is we understand as a as adults or as whatever as young people we understand what a number is but if you try to explain to a small uh, child what a number is what 
then how the how are you gonna how are you gonna explain them? The number is an abstract term. You can say three plus five to two plus three, and this is gonna be apples. You can say two plus three, and this is gonna be miles per hour. It's kind of in the re it's kind of hard to just give a very simple explanation of what a number is. Try yourself. Try yourself to explain what a number is. A number is what something you can sum. But you can you can't sum an apple and an orange, or you can't sum miles per hour and 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 the and a brick. So basically, number is a very very abstract term, but we're very much used to it. So for us, it's pretty easy. But the, with matrices, it's something similar. Matrix is an abstract concept. Uh, matrix is an abstract concept like number. And in order to understand what it is, we need to know applications. So the number can be apple. The application of a number can be apple. Or an application of a number can be miles per hour. And we know how to manage both of them. However, the applications of matrices are a little bit different. The matrices can represent uh, shapes, coordinates, a set of points. x1, x2, x3, y2 x3, y3, and so on. The matrices can represent represent pixels, like colors. Uh, and matrices can represent uh, other physical phenomena. Other phenomena. And, uh, I think it's spelled like this. So, altogether, matrices are applied, are a little bit, despite we are using them, despite we use them, the cameras, the 10 megapixels, which is a matrix, 10 matrix, 10 mega, mega, mega term, 10 mega term matrix every day. We not always we know that this is uh, that this is matrix in there, but this is matrices there. We just don't really name them like this, but they are everywhere. Your screen is a matrix. Every time you see a graphics on your screen, on a picture on your browser screen, it's a matrix. The text rendered on the is a matrix, and I'm gonna show you this a bit later.